Coming up in this episode, I'm removing the 1.6 engine from the LLF M140 conversion build. I'm tearing down the rear end, but we got big issues. I've just gone onto your website. I saw a breaker that I wanted to buy. But not only did I drop the engine, I dropped it complete with this manual gearbox. Oh, I've just got some news. The build might be over before it even really got going. Right? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this crazy BMW 114i to M140 retrofit swap conversion, whatever you want to call it. All I know is going to be sick. The car belongs to Ricky from the Living Life Fast YouTube channel. He brought it down in the last episode. I stripped down the front end. As you can see, we've done a ton of work in the first episode and this episode is going to follow suit because we're jumping into the rear end. There's a few things that I need to see because I'm sure I'm going to have to do some fabrication to fit that M2 rear bumper. You've had a little recap. You know where we are right now. So let's jump straight into it. So guys, in the last episode, we done all of these panels and I showed you just how quickly they all just slotted together. That's because all of these panels on the front end, they are interchangeable, like they all just fit because the chassis beneath is the same on the F Series 1 Series and the F Series 2 Series. They're all the same. I know I've said Series quite a lot, but you get the gist. The 1 Series and the 2 Series, they share a lot of similarities on the chassis level. So the mounting points are the same. However, on the rear end, it's a complete different design. The M2 has got a bit of a boost this is a hatch, so we're gonna have to do some fabrication. So let me take you guys to the rear of the car, strip that bit down and get started. In episode one, I showed you the entire plan for the build. Now, as this is a pre-LCI car, I'm removing the pre-LCI rear lights. We're gonna be replacing these with LCI versions. Now, Ricky opted for the M2 rear bumper. So later on in the build, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we're gonna manufacture, we have to fabricate an M2 rear bumper to make it fit on the F20 chassis. With the rear bumper removed, you can see this is the rear bumper guide. I just wanted to point this out. If you're ever doing an LCI retrofit, you have to swap out these guides. It's very important. So guys, I did a little bit of a mock-up with the rear bumper and the rear bumper guide. And two things, it's a lot wider, which I expected. So there's not a lot I can do until we need to tackle the rear quarters. So we're gonna be cutting along this line I believe, but um, when we get the quarters, we'll know how we're gonna cut it, which is gonna widen the rear end, and then I can do some more mocking up with the rear bumper, making sure that everything lines up. But it doesn't fit. Like I said, I knew this was gonna happen. It's, it's not a direct replacement, it's not a direct fit. There will be some fabrication, but luckily, it's in the right place. I'm sure my guy Akil can get on top of all of that. Um, the rear tailgate has got to come off, but I'm not going to take it off now because I haven't got the replacement to refit it with. So I'll just leave it, make sure that it's all, it's safe right there. So I'll just leave it there. But this is all we're going to do on the rear end for this moment. There's not a lot more that I can do. I need to get some more parts and some more wiring. I was a bit surprised that like, this car is such a dead spec. There's no front parking sensors, no rear parking sensors, but I'm going to be retrofitting all of those as well. So by the time this is done, it's going to be a fully spec'd out M140 slash M2 slash crazy thousand horsepower creature. I don't know, but it's going to be crazy. But for now, I'm going to pack up all of this, clean up, and I'll catch you when I get some parts. Guys, don't forget my 50k sub giveaway. I'm sending one lucky subscriber and their families over to Mercedes-Benz World free of charge. They're gonna get to experience off-roading in a Mercedes G63, but the entire family also gets a second ride in a Mercedes G63. It's gonna be the ultimate, ultimate day out for you and your family. And all you need to do is subscribe. It is free. Eventually. Alright you guys, so it's a few days later and uh, I've just got some news. It's not good news and the news that I just received could derail this entire build. So we've been making great progress but the plan was always to get a donor car and the way I get my donor cars is I head over to Copart. They had a service called Break a Bid For You. You stick your details in, they'll bid on your behalf. I can't bid on breakers because you need a special breakers license. To get a breakers license, you need to have a waste management license. To get a waste management license is a ton of work with the local council. It's not something you can do in the short term. I've just gone on to Colpart 
I've done all this work and I've just gone onto the Cold Park website. I've been following this brake car M140 for the past week. I tried to find that form and I saw this. I'll put a picture up. It says that they've scrapped the breaker bid for you. And that service was key to my plan. That car is going today. There's no way I'm going to get it. Um, I'm sure I can find another one, but I need to get a breaker account. So if any of you guys can help me, I need to get someone with a breaker account at Cold Park. If I can't, I can't complete this build. That means I'm going to mess up my relationship with Ricky because there's a lot riding on this build and I'm so frustrated. So what I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to give Cold Park a call just to see if there's anything they can do for me. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. The build might be over before it even really got going. Like, uh, let me grab my phone. Give Cole Potter a call. Welcome to Cold Party Member Services. Morning, break. Can help you. Hello. Good morning. Um, I've just gone onto your website. I saw a breaker that I wanted to buy, but um, I haven't got a breaker license. And I know you guys were doing the breaker bid for you, but it's not. It's not on the website. Website no more. Correct. We stopped it on the eighth. On the 8th of um, December? The next, the next, the, yeah, the next best thing is uh, our sister company, you pull it, UPI. Okay. Um, they can, you can discuss with them maybe larger items like the engine gearbox and so on for the vehicle. We're not doing any more service where you can get the smaller parts down, down to the chassis. Oh, so man. Would that, um, yeah, I know. Would you like me to put you through to you pull it? They might still be able to do something. With no, no, parts because parts it's not It's you. not just the gearbox. I'm doing a, um, a conversion, so it's not just like big parts that I need. I needed to get a breaker really, to get wiring looms, modules, etc, etc. Yeah, I understand. That, that can't be done now. Yeah. Uh, I'm gutted about that because I always, I always used to use that yeah. service. All right. All right, cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ah, you heard it. There's no real reason that they can give me over the phone, but the breaker bid for you service from Colpart is over. I need to make a few phone calls, um, see if I can find someone with a breaker license. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give up on this. This is another moment where we need to keep it moving, and I'm definitely gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna make some phone calls, and I'm gonna continue ripping this one down. Look at this guy. Uh. <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta keep a smile. You gotta keep a smile on. Let's continue tearing that down whilst in the background. I'm gonna be making some hectic, frantic, desperate phone calls to try to locate a breaker for this build. All right, you guys, so I've made some phone calls to the guys that I've made, you know, my network connections, people that I've known in the past who break cars, who've got breakers yards. A lot of them said they'll get back to me. So I'm hoping that we can come up with a solution. But for now, what I'm gonna do is remove the bumper again, all the lights and that front panel, all of that needs to come off. And I'm just gonna start to prep to drop this engine. This is, a, I don't even know, I think it's a 1.4, 1.6 turbo engine. It's actually running, um, it's blowing a bit, there's a slight misfire, but we can still sell that, make some money back on that. And then what I'm gonna do is, right here, I'm gonna leave it connected to the front subframe, and then there's one bolt, two bolts, and two on the other side, so four bolts in total. And then once I loosen up these bolts right here for the suspension, I should be able to drop everything as one big lump. Engine, gearbox, suspension, on the subframe, drop that down, and then once I raise the car back up, I should have this entire area here completely free, and I can start to tear down all of the engine wiring harness because we're getting rid of all of that. We're getting rid of all the brake lines, the ABS pump, everything from this section has to go because we're gonna be replacing it with M140 standard stuff, which is higher rated for braking, higher rated for the fueling. Everything needs to be swapped out. So let's get to work. Now on my channel, I've got the mantra of keeping it moving. If you're an OG on this channel, you know. I always say that anytime I come up with an obstacle and that's exactly what I'm doing. I've just explained the method of how I'm gonna drop the entire engine and gearbox unit, but there's tons of prep and removal of several sensors, wires and hoses before I can access the nuts and bolts that I need to drop that engine. Now if you look here, I'm removing all the grounding wires from these specific earthing positions. These locations are gonna be exactly the same on an M140 and it all just bolts up exactly the same. 
Next up, I'm disconnecting the brake hoses and ABS sensors. That's because the suspension is all coming off as one big unit along with the engine and the gearbox and the subframe. This is a massive job, but once I get it off, you'll see how easy it is. All right, you guys, check this out. I've stripped down everything on the front. I've disconnected all the wires from the ECU, etc., on the top. I've come to the side right here. I've disconnected all of these brake hoses and the ABS sensors. So I'm trying to isolate this entire section here. I went underneath just now and I cut this. I've learned from when I've done this before, we're not gonna be using this exhaust. So I've just cut that. That's the last thing that's gonna be holding on. Then after that, all I need to do is, like I said earlier, one, two and two on the other side and that's it for the subframe i've went ahead and i disconnected this gearbox mount so with the gearbox mount disconnected you can see it's all very shaky there's nothing there holding it now once i've done all of that and my calculations are correct which i'm pretty confident in all i need to do is drop the car back down as a whole i've got a little trolley jack with some wheels on it um so i'll sit it right underneath and once i remove three bolts on either side of the suspension mounts i should be able to just raise the body on the ramp and the engine gearbox suspension and the subframe should be left on the floor. So that is the plan, let's execute. So remember those four bolts that I showed you? I'm starting by loosening them up. As soon as I loosen them up, you're gonna see, there it is, there's a little bit of movement. I'm gonna add a little bit of support here, just to make sure that everything is safe. With my pallet in place, I'm lowering the car onto the pallet, making sure that the engine is in the center of that pallet. Before removing the suspension top mount bolts, and then there's just one more bolt that holds the steering rack onto the steering system, steering column, whatever you want to call it, but here is that bolt. With all of those bolts removed, it's time to see if my plan's going to work. And there you have it. After some pushing and tugging, the engine, gearbox, subframe and suspension has been removed from this BMW 114i. Alrighty guys, have a look at this. This is a sight to behold. The BMW 114i, I got rid of that engine, but not only did I drop the engine, I dropped it complete with this manual gearbox. Have a look at that. Just like I did in my last build, we're gonna be swapping this out for the eight-speed ZF automatic gearbox that comes standard with the BMW M140. But remember, once it goes back to Ricky over at LLF, he's gonna be swapping that out and sticking in his specially adapted powertrain. Trust me, it's gonna be so crazy. But moving back to the build, what I need to do now is I need to get rid of all of these plastics, all of these wires, these coolant hoses, for example, they're gonna come off because we're not using them. We're using all the bits from the M140. I know for a fact that this section right here, which it is for the braking, it's a much bigger, bulkier unit on the M140. The ABS pump is slightly different as well. It's uprated from the M140. So all of that is coming out. I need to swap all the wiring, all the components, everything is coming off this car. So what I'm gonna do now is tidy up all of this and we can start to wrap up. So guys, I'm feeling positive, but I'm still a little bit worried because behind the scenes, as I've been working, I've been making a few phone calls. Um, I've reached out to several people to try to get me one of these breaker cars from Colpart. Everything that I've done thus far in this build stands for nothing if I can't secure a breaker vehicle in a timely fashion. And it means me going back on my word as a brand and it means that I'm gonna be upsetting Ricky from LLF because I'm not gonna be sticking up to what I said I can do. I know what I'm capable of and I really want this to work out. So we gotta keep it moving. I've got a mate, H, I keep talking about him. He runs a VW Breakers down in Tottenham. He might be able to help me out in securing a breaker vehicle. So fingers crossed, I'll update you in a future video. But for now, let me just go ahead and clean up everything in the engine bay. And at the end, I've got, I might have a little plan. There's something that I wish I did on my previous build, but I want you to tell me what you think. So with the engine removed, I finally have access to all of these nuts and bolts that are gonna hold the scuttle panel, some other plastics, the hoses. Everything needs to be removed from this engine bay because we're replacing every single component with M140 components. And that brings us back to the big issue on this build. 
I need to secure a donor vehicle to get a ton of parts. And there's no point in continuing if I cannot find a donor vehicle. All right, you guys, so there you have it. I feel like I've done everything that I can do thus far. The next step is to secure a donor vehicle. The reason being is I need to get all of these parts here, tons of wiring, and I know what I need to do on this car. I will feel a hundred times better knowing that I've secured that donor car, knowing that the build is gonna go all the way through and I will sleep better at night knowing that I'm not gonna be letting Ricky from LLF down. So I'm gonna do everything that I can in my power to keep it moving and secure a donor vehicle. But you're gonna have to see if I'm successful in the next episode. Hopefully I can do it. I'm confident that I can, however, there's a lot of stress and a lot of running around in the background and I hope that you're here to see it. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe. Make sure your bells are on because trust me, one way or the other, the next episode on this build is going to be explosive. So like I always say, keep it moving and I'll see you in the next one. Next time, I continue stripping down the car, I tear down the interior, tear down the rear suspension, plus more, so make sure you're here to watch it. We love the Beamers, the Benz, the Porsches, all of my fans are not a support in style, we're nothing but look at us now.